told I've got the PIP implant, so um, I think I'm almost certain I want to have them removed, obviously for safety reasons, but also the benefit of having them removed is that I can change what I currently don't like about uh, my first boob job. So I want to talk to you first about this PAP implant, yeah, just to reassure you about a few things. At the moment, I mean, so far, they haven't found enough evidence to suggest and to advise any early replacement, and so be reassured about that. Yeah, the only thing that I can tell you is that uh, an advisor strongly is to have a scan and to see whether the implant is intact or is ruptured. So, well, so they might be ruptured and I wouldn't even know right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to check that everything is fine. So now is the time for you to show me your breast. Yeah? Okay. So if you can come here, yeah. please stand up and uh, take your shirt and bra off and I'll have a quick look and I'll tell you what I think. Okay. okay. So um, you've got a bottoming out of the, of the breast. So that means that the implant has dropped too much. You all right, Lauren? Yeah. So what are the first thing that I have to do is to correct the shape. And uh, together with that, I can put a bigger implants. Hopefully, and possibly, I will try to, to go behind the muscle. Yeah? Okay. So that you will have even more natural That's results. Got, right? Yeah. Have you got, got it behind? Got, yeah. yeah. It's good yeah. because then they stay and you can go smaller in the future, can't you? Yeah. Okay. So this is what I've got in now. Mm -hmm. So we need to go a bit bigger than that. But then you've got like, which say Jess has got? Just right? Yeah. I reckon she might have something like that. Or maybe that. I reckon that's more uh, Billy Mucklow. Are you joking? Hers are well that. Do you think? Yeah, they're massive. I'll tell you who this could be. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma. <laughs> She's got the that's biggest so boobs ever. <laughs> I don't think any of us will ever get into boys' heads because I think that's how they think. Like, I don't think men were born with a guilt DNA streak in their brain. No, they just wait till they get caught and then they... The other day... I just feel so sorry for you, Luce. He's an absolute... It's just humiliating. 